welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will learn about launch.json so although we all know about what is the use of the launch.json but uh, today in this video i will show you an alternative way to set up the launch.json uh, so that you should not be uh, creating the launch.json every time you create a new project okay so we all know that whenever we create a new business central project this file gets auto created but some information we need to pass manually here because the file which gets created automatically it does not have the details of your environment like the sandbox environment in which you usually build your projects so for example here you can see that uh, although the file got auto generated but some of the parameters I have manually updated like the environment type, the name, the tenant details, right? So these information uh, we have to manually update every time whenever we create a new project. Okay, but in the sense that uh, if your sandbox is same in which you always build your projects and you do not want to manually update every time you create a new project, so there is an alternative way where you can fix your environment details and then you should not uh, worry about this local launch.json file. Okay, and every time you create a new project, it will deploy automatically to that particular environment. Okay, so where is that alternative way? I will show you today. So what you need to do is that you need to click on the settings. Uh, and go to the settings here you can see that there are two types of uh, settings available at the user level and at the workspace level okay so I will show you uh, everywhere like for example uh, what you need to do is that uh, you need to click on this features and here you need to click on this debug option okay when you click on this debug option you come down and uh, here at the last you will see launch and when you read this it says global debug launch configuration and should be used as an alternative to the launch.json that is shared across workspaces okay so it's a global type of setting which will be shared across the workspaces okay so it will be kind of a fixed thing like you you edit or you design your settings one time only and then you will forget about this at least launch.json every time you create a new project okay so let me click on this edit settings.json and select this version okay and this is my configuration and here we can mention our launch.json details so for example i click here and let me copy these information which have my environment details and the required parameters I'll copy it and let me paste it here right so you can see here that it is similar it is giving me a similar kind of experience what this local launch.json is giving me but the only difference is that now this setting is fixed so if I even create a new project and I don't want to go with this launch.json, it is perfectly fine. It will consider this and uh, it will not give me any sort of error as well. Okay, so now you can see that it is completely set up. Just save it. Okay. And similarly, like if you click on the workspaces here as well, uh, you go to the debug and you, you will find the same thing like if you want to set at a user level or if you want to set at the workspace level right you can always do so right so but let me tell you the priority the priority is always given to the local launch.json right so it's not like that you have to uh, you can give uh, at both places the different environment details and it will get uh, deploy your extension in both the environments no okay 
so if you have set up your environment details in the local launch.json project uh, in your local project and then you also set up the environment details in the uh, user level settings or the workspace level settings then uh, please understand that it will give you the it will give the importance to this local launch.json file okay so you have to design or prepare the launch.json only at one place not in the multiple spaces okay so let me like uh, close this and close this and if i open another instance of VS code and if I let's say create a new project okay and let's say cloud sandbox And what I do I just delete this because anyway I don't want to put the details of my sandbox here at least okay so now this is the default uh, file and this is the default app.json and now if you go to the settings just to see whether my launch.json is available here or not so let me go to the features debug and if you see this so you can see here that my details are available very much okay so no need to define at least this launch.json in my project okay so what i do that uh, let's download the symbols and you will see in few seconds that see it has downloaded the ale packages from the environment which i have mentioned in my settings file right and you can see that there is locally no launch.json okay let me uh, just wait for a second by the time it downloaded the symbols then we will deploy this project and we will see that whether uh, we get any error or what okay and if you see here this is my second project and it has the local launch.json as well and it has the global settings as well but as i said earlier that for this project it will give the importance to the local launch.json and not the global launch.json okay so it totally depends on you symbols have been downloaded now let me build the project and you can see successfully it has been done so now when the project is already built it totally depends on you that if you want to deploy this project you can press uh, you can click on this run button and select out of these two options start debugging or run without debugging it will deploy your project to that particular environment uh, which is a part of your global settings or a part of your local uh, launch.json right so uh, guys this uh, this uh, configuration has, is was introduced in the bc21 version so i hope uh, if you are not using it so far or if you have not uh, uh, if you have not uh, if you don't have any idea about it then i believe this video will help you to understand this new concept or if you are still using it uh, since the bc21 day so uh, it's very good that now we should not be setting up our launch.json every single time whenever we create a new project so i believe it's a very good feature handy feature so that's all in the current video uh, i hope if you like this video please uh, hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video